Hi, I'm John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Let me see, can you smell it? I smell it. It's the smell of gyms about to reopen all over the world. Man, we're coming out of that pandemic lockdown from around the world at this point. Now, if you're one of those people who's been blessed enough to be living in an area where your gym has reopened and you're back to it, wow, God bless you. I'm very happy for you. Uh, if you're one of the rest of us who has not yet gotten back to their gyms, then I have for you today the best type of break-in routine that you can use when that time does come. It's coming very soon. Trust me, it is. So look, the idea when you get back to the gym is this. You don't want to step back in the gym and just kind of take it easy for a couple of workouts and then start blasting away. The problem with that is, is you open yourself up to injury. The problem with that is, is after not doing anything for a long period of time, a lot of the accessory muscle groups, uh, rotator cuffs and the shoulders, for example, may have become a little bit too weak that they're not used to supporting big weights. And so you'll get a lot stronger in your major muscle groups as compared to the littler ones. So we want to make sure that you actually use as much muscle mass as possible when you go to train. That's basic exercises, preferably free weights, preferably with dumbbells on the upper body exercises mainly. But if we're talking about in general, generalities, free weights would be nice. Why? I just explained why. You want to use all of the supportive muscle groups as well. This is not going to be a period where you're maxing out your weights. It's not a period where you're going to heavily load your spine with the heaviest weights possible. So just being clear about that. Now, some parameters. I'm going to name your five exercises that I would use on a break-in routine. And by the way, this is the type of routine that I would give to any clients of mine and myself coming off of any sort of a break. Right now, it's been an extended break for a lot of you. Months of a break, right? Uh, but for the most part, when people have a 10-day break, a 12-day break, up to a month or so, most people, I think, in general, uh, my clients at least, they experience those types of breaks throughout the year, whether it was due to scheduling, work, sickness, whatever the thing is, then this is the way I would have them break back in. Preferably, preferably just five simple exercises. And what do they look like? I'll give you my sample five right here, okay? Squats, for sure. Free weight barbell squats. Incline dumbbell presses for the chest, pull downs or chin ups, either one. If you can do chin ups, do chin ups. If not, then obviously pull downs. Dumbbell shoulder laterals, barbell curl, simple floor crunches. Okay. So if we do these exercises, nice and smooth and in good, good form, starting out basics, right? Just basics. You're going to go on in five days in a row to the gym. If you hit the gym five days in a row, it's not what you think. I'm not talking about getting quickly overtrained by doing full, full workouts. I am talking about going five days in a row, taking those five exercises and just doing a warm up set on each run through the gym, go through each exercise one time, just, go through the motions. You might find that even light weights feel sort of heavy and that's okay. You're probably going to misjudge what kind of weights to use for 10 repetitions. I would like for you to do 10 repetitions on each one of those exercises, right? Except for the abs on the floor doing crunches. I'd like for you to do 20, 25 repetitions. So the break in routine, when you start up, you're going to walk in on day one and you're going to go ahead and warm up, do a simple light set of every one of those exercises that I just mentioned. And then pick a weight that you think you can comfortably get 10 smooth reps with on each one of them. So here we go. Boom, right to squats. You pick a weight, you go and do 10 full reps. You deload the bar, be courteous to the other gym members, right? Move on. Incline dumbbell presses. Yes, have your dumbbells right there at the bench, fairly low incline, 30, 45 degrees, boom, 10 reps. Not to the point where you're going to failure, by the way. This is nowhere near failure, a comfortable set of 10. 
boom, put the dumbbells away. Go to your pull down machine or your chin up bar. Boom, 10 repetitions, nice and smooth, really good form, okay? Walk away from that machine. Boom, here we go, dumbbell laterals. Take some dumbbells, sit at the end of a bench. Do yourself some dumbbell lateral raises. Boom, 10 smooth repetitions. You see the pattern. Barbell curls or dumbbell curls if you feel free. If you feel that you need to use dumbbells, that's fine too. Dumbbell curls. Boom, 10 smooth reps. Not to failure. Difficult? No. Will you feel it? Probably after not working out for a couple of months or a few months. Yeah, you're going to feel it. Then, then, boom, move on to some floor crunches, put a towel behind your head, lay down on the floor, grab that towel like this, and do some simple floor crunches. The towel is to support your neck. Blow it out as you come up. Simple as that. How many reps on that? 20, 25 repetitions. Okay, John, how many sets of all of that or cycles should I do? Just one. This is day one. So day one is out of the way. Walk out of the gym. Come back day two. Do all the same things once again. Same exercises, same weights. You come back to the gym, except this time, you're going to knock out 12 to 15 repetitions. Go for a few more repetitions, okay? 12, 15 repetitions. Yeah, it might be a little bit challenging. Now you get up around 15 repetitions on each one of those exercises, that's fine. Avoid going to failure though. Do not take it to the end where you're doing a grinder repetition at the end of the set. Close, but not too serious, okay? So that's day two, the entire workout. Just one set of everything. Again, on the abs, finish up with 25 reps. You don't need to do that too, too serious with weight. Boom, out the door you go. Day two is out the way. Day three, all right, day three. Now we're getting a little bit more into it now. Day three, add a little bit of weight to each one of the exercises. You've now done like 12, 15 repetitions with it. Add some weight. Knock yourself back down to 10 repetitions. This time, going a little bit closer, pushing a little bit harder, closer to failure. Okay, so how much weight do you need to add? You're going to have to be the judge. If you've been squatting with 225 pounds on the bar for 10 fairly comfortable reps, for 10 reps in workout one, workout two, you got 15 reps. Obviously, throw on a little bit more weight. Throw on a 10 on each side, maybe a 10 and a 5 on each side, so it's 30 pounds extra, and do 10 smooth reps. Near failure, not to failure, on every one of those exercises. So you have to judge how much weight is best for you to add, but incrementally add the weight and knock the reps back down to 10 to where 10 is a little bit more difficult for you. That's day three. Do that whole workout, finish off with your crunches, one set of 25, out the door you go. Okay, if you want to do two sets of 25, go ahead on the crunches. Out the door you go, okay? Three workouts down, two more to go. Day four, you come back in the gym. Those same weights that you were using on day three, go again for 12 or 15 repetitions. You see the pattern now, right? Good. Push it a little bit harder. You may even be hitting failure on some of those exercises but you're pushing it harder. It's your fourth day in a row in the gym doing the same exercises and you've increased the weight and the reps each time. Now, finish that workout up. Finish up with one or two sets of crunches at the end. Now, day five, you come on in. Are you sore, by the way? What if you get sore? Yeah, it's okay to be a little bit sore. Is it okay to be super, super sore during this? No. If you're that sore, take a day off in between. Otherwise, a little bit of soreness is okay. You're going to work through that. It's not a bad idea. It's not going to hurt you. You go to day five. Day five, you walk in that gym. You take those exercises that you've chosen to do in that break in routine. You smash out on each one of them a two failure set. Maybe you increase the weight on some exercises so it knocks you back down to 10 repetitions, but go for it with 10, 12 repetitions, 11 repetitions, 13 repetitions, whatever it is, but go for it to where you cannot get one more full, complete repetition in good, good form. Now, that workout after the fifth one of the week, you may be a little bit exhausted, a little bit tired after that, and that's okay. Take two days off. Plan 
your workout from that point forward. Go back to some of your familiar exercises, your favorite exercises that you know work really well on your body. Go right ahead. But now you've set yourself up. You've created a great foundation, a platform from which you can jump off of and get great workouts. Week two, you'll be ready to blast. You'll be ready to train very hard. So um, what am I telling you? Do a proper break in routine just for the week. I'm not giving you generalities here other than choose the weights properly. That's on you. And maybe choose different exercises if you know there's other exercises that fit your body better than the ones I just described. But generally, I picked one for each ma major muscle group, compound movements mainly. So you go for it like that. By the time week two rolls around, you're ready to roll. And how would I do week two? What kind of a workout would I do in work week two? I wrote about it in Physique 101. Down below, there'll be the link for one of the books that I wrote called Physique 101. I show you how to go from that break-in type routine, that foundational routine, all the way through an entire year's worth of training where you can make great progress with several different training routines. So you don't have to stick to just one routine like you have been prior to the pandemic. All right? So please check it out. Uh, you can get the download through my website right there, or you can get a hard copy as well. The links will all be down below. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, congratulations. Welcome back to the gym. Enjoy it. John Hart, look forward to next time. Thank you. Hey, oh, oh, I don't want to be negligent before you leave. If you're liking the videos that I'm doing, off to your bottom right, you have a red subscribe button. Off to your bottom left, you have a thumbs up. Will you just smash the thumbs up button before you go, please? It helps the channel out a lot. Share it with your friends and family. I appreciate your help in this. That's it today.